I'd like to uh, talk to you a little bit about zone editing. Um, and I actually have a handout that uh, I can send to you if you want, just have to send me an email. But uh, basically what happens is when you scan things into Kurzweil 3000, it's not going to be perfect. There's never a perfect program. So what we want to do first is open the file. And here I have a chapter open in a book. Um, and then what you would do is you would go to the scan menu and you would do the zone editing. Now I already have you know, shown in another video how to do zone editing, so I won't do that again. But you want to make sure that, first of all, that what Kurzweil has identified as text is actually what you want to have read. So you want to make sure that the order is, is what you want. Three, four, five, six. Okay, go to the next page. And then you can do things like change uh, the blocks. You notice I've put this in as a secondary text because I don't want Kurzweil to stop and read that. So basically at this point, if somebody was reading this book, they'd have to actually click in here and then press the play button. Now what I want to do is um, I want to make sure that uh, once I'm done that, I get out of the zone editor. So I would go through the whole entire chapter and do that. Okay, let's go back to page one. Now the next thing that I would do is I'm going to run a spell check. And what happens is Kurzweil is going to go through the underlying text. Now what is underlying text? Let's just have a little peek. If I right click and I say edit underlying text, then in the bottom it shows me what Kurzweil is going to say. Sometimes these things don't match. Now, I've already gone through and done it, but I'll show you what I mean. So if I click on interpersonal, if it didn't say that down here, I could write whatever I want. Interpersonal. Now notice that I'm writing it down here. It shows it here. It becomes bold to let me know that I've changed it. And then when you click on it, it highlights the word as well in the document so you can kind of compare, which is great, especially when you're getting into things like um, where the background is black, you know, or it's a little bit darker, and then you can actually see. So what that means is that if you do get, well, let's just go to the next page here. If you get into somewhere where it is dark and you do want to type, okay, then you can type everything down here. You don't have to type just one word. You know, you could type type as much as as you uh, as you want. I, now I'm sure there must be a limit, but. <clears throat> And then when you get to that part, it'll say that. Yourself? Type as much as you want. Okay. Now, um, let me change that voice. <laughs> Let's change it to Paul. But, um, so you can do that. Now, once you run, let's run the spell check. So I'm going to say no, I don't really want to save that. So I'm going to go back to page one, and I'm going to go to tools, and I'm going to run my spell check. So it's going to go through, and it's going to check all the words, right? So I will make sure I add them if I have to, or skip if it's okay, or change all of them, etc. Now I've already done this, so I'm just going to speed it up by clicking exit. Okay. So the first thing again was to zone edit, and the second thing now is to run the spell check. Once you're done that, then you can right click and edit your underlying text, especially if there's a strange font. Um, you remember the one up at the top here? It's, sometimes those fonts aren't, you know, done properly. So I want to make sure that what it says down here is what it says up here. So you want to do that. So you zone edit, you run your spell check, then you can edit underlying text. After that's done, and you've gone through, you probably have almost all of it. It's never going to be perfect unless, you know, well, it, you'd have to take a lot of time to do that. So what I want to do when I save it now is I'm going to save it with the name Chapter 2 Edited. Okay? And that way I'll remember that it's done. So that's a really quick way to do it and that's about how that works.